This show is part of the RetroZap.com podcast network. Now, prepare yourselves for a Starship Sabres and Scoundrels special edition. This is so wizard. You feeling me, Hunter's Wizard? Oh, I'll just step into you, girl, with my intellectual wizard politics. I have an enchanter. Wizards only, fools. Wizards rule. There are some who call me... Tim? Greetings, Tim the Enchanter. Nope, wizards only. Wizards only, fools. Hello, scoundrels. Welcome to episode 72.2, That's So Wizard, a special edition of Starship Sabres and Scoundrels. On this episode, we will feature the latest rundown of Star Wars fashion and lifestyle finds from all corners of the galaxy. And I'm joined by my two friends and co-hosts, Dennis Keithley and Darth Taxis. How are we doing, gentlemen? Doing well this evening. How about you, Taxis? Oh, I'm ready. I am ready to get all hit upside the head with fashion and fashion-related fashion things. Well, you are fashionably on time for all of the fashionable advice that you're about to get. So, Busted Dennis, on. would you like to? Yes, <laughs> would you like to explain what a special edition is for our scoundrels? Sure, our scoundrel special edition is a pared down version of the show where we forego the news and some of our listener feedback segments in order to get uh, all of our attention focused on a uh, particular topic. Frequently, that's episodes of Resistance lately or. An experience that we've had, but in tonight's case, it is Jay's presentation of the current uh, offerings in the fashion and lifestyle business related to Star Wars. Yeah, it's not mm-hmm. an episode that's made accessible to help with my needs. But there's a lot of accessories, so, you know, <laughs> we ready to jump in. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So, hey, I'm not sure what the weather is like in your neck of the galaxy, scoundrels, but the thermometer has certainly been like hoth around here lately. And I know even in North Texas, you guys have been experiencing some pretty cold temperatures. Indeed. So, with that in mind, this edition of That So Wizard will have a heavy focus on cold weather clothing and lifestyle products. But first, there's some big news from the fashion front, as well as some other fun finds that I'd like to feature first. First. So, as fans well know, Star Wars Celebration Chicago is quickly approaching. At the time of this recording, there are 77 days to go. Ironic since, you know, the first Star Wars came out in 1977. So, and we've gotten a little bit of a sneak peek, yeah, from one of the top Star Wars fashion icons, Ashley Eckstein herself owner of Ooh. Her Universe, and as we know, Ahsoka Tano. And so Ashley and her team at Her Universe recently teased us online with a few images. And according to fun. our friend, I, mean, I know, nice. teasing, but you know, but you got you to gotta take it when you can get it. So according Ooh. to our friends over at Fanta Tracks, um, there's the, the headline that they put up was, Her Universe Has Us Guessing. So there's several images and everything is speculation and guesswork at this point. But the, the first one that they uh, show is the Tico Sisters necklace printed on material that appears to be a similar color to the jumpsuit worn by Rose. Hmm. And so, and this is all coming straight from Fanta Tracks. So I'm, I'm going to read what they've, they've written here. And it says, does this mean we will see a utility style dress or shirt? Hmm. hmm. And then the next image is the no one's ever really gone quote from the last Jedi. And there's kind of a metal uh, insignia that says general Organa. So they said, uh, I believe this is the inside of a jacket, perhaps styled to be like a general Leia's fabulous cloak in the last Jedi huh. with the zip detail and the gray and white check tweed twill dog tooth pattern. It may lend itself to a jacket suitable for winter or spring. And then the third image is an image of the word hope with the firebird symbol. And then you can kind of see the um, the same shape patterns as the uh, patterns on Sindula, uh, Harris Sindula's Leku oh. for head tails, which I'm sure I know we said Leku. So just, you know, keep it together, Taxes. Okay. Why don't you describe <laughs> this a little more for 
So, well, it, it looks like listeners. a jersey material um, to me. I'm looking at it here, and it looks like a almost like a sweatshirt material. So, who knows with, with that one? Ew, and then the next two are definitely of very big interest to me. Um, one is looks like Padme Amidala's uh, insignia, and then the other one is more of an ombre design, very similar to the lake dress from okay. Attack of the Clones. So maybe a cloak, maybe the clasp with the cloak. I'm not really sure. Um, and these are all from her universe um, Instagram here. So these are all really awesome. So let me stop then, you down. What's an ombre yeah, design? Is that like a design by a Spanish man? No, ombre actually is a color graduation, I guess is the best way that I can uh, explain it, no, where it goes from light years. to <laughs> not not matriculation graduation. No. This is a, a little bit of a different type. So, um, but yeah, this one is, is the colors graduate down in, in their, uh, oh, I guess you could say hue. So with this one, you can see okay. it goes from the pink into a darker rose, into sort of a purple, and then into a darker blue. So you can kind of get the idea in your head how the colors sort of, you know, go down. So there's actually two different things. There's a chiffon sort of material, and then there's one that looks a little bit more like um, potentially a sweatshirt because this particular one that has an embroidered symbol of the Naboo crest has had me also embroidered underneath it but you can see the um, hoodie string you know like on the hood itself kind of hanging down with the little aglet hmm. so that one definitely looks more like a sweatshirt Duh, you and know all the terms for all the pieces of all the clothes <laughs> well i used to call the aglet a flugel binder if you ever saw the movie cocktail Huh. <laughs> Way back in the day, he called it. Tom Cruise's character called it a flugel binder. Oh, okay. But, um, but yeah, it's actually called an aglet. Sounds like so. a German thing. Weird. Yeah. Twist. <laughs> um, and then there's there's one that almost looks more like leather. So, and this one is very splotchy, and it's black with purple and kind of like a tannish sort of almost like a a splatter paint kind of looking thing. So it almost looks like it could be either a faux leather jacket or a handbag or something like that could it be sabine could it be padme hard to tell but i can mm. kind of see up in the upper corner it looks like a drawstring so i'm wondering if maybe it's it's a type of bag and then last but not least i'm super excited about these these are obviously ballet pumps so they are huh. um almost a patent leather black but right on the toe they have the imperial emblem in silver oh. so it's actually more of like a, a polished um, antique gray kind of a, a metal, but um, obviously that's that's first order it, slash you, imperial symbol. So you just yeah. kind of threw the uh, image of uh, Vader in a black tutu um, doing Swan Lake <laughs> in my head, <laughs> and, and with the ballet pumps. So yeah, so these are are big. I mean, from her universe, and we were talking before about how we thought that maybe Ashley would have some things at celebration so maybe these will be actually revealed there but there actually is one thing that she has out right now that was just recently released we're talking just last week on the website and it is the princess leia patch denim jacket and huh. this one sells for $88.90 okay. on the website okay. and no additional charge for plus sizes, which is new, <clears throat> which is awesome. <clears throat> so it um, it has patches kind of throughout the back of the jacket, has a large Rebel logo printed with names of different characters. So it's, it's almost like a graffiti print. And then it has Princess Leia above in pink and blue embroidery. And it's very edgy. Hmm. The sleeves feature images, patches of Han Solo, C-3PO, Chewbacca, Skywalker, and R2-D2. And these are all words. These aren't images. They're words. Very retro looking. Very 70s looking. Um, like I said, very urban. Um, very vintage. So if you're kind of into that sort of thing, that's... Um, definitely right up your alley and it's uh they're all listed in junior sizes so that's one thing you got to remember about her universe when you're um buying things is always check the size chart so yes because if um, you're a third or the fourth then they just won't fit you yeah <laughs> 
So I know, you know, for, for you guys looking at some of these images, they may, might not elicit the same kind of ooh and ah that they do for me. But are there any of them from uh, the Fanta tracks teasing images that stand out to you specifically or anything that's really got your, your interest? Well, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what these all turn out to be um, because Ashley comes up with some great stuff uh her and her designers do um you know the one with the paint slot says that that screams sabine um to me you know it looks like that faux leather black and the purple and the orange on it uh, i know that was one of the possibilities you listed but as soon as i saw that i was like yeah that looks like some it's just that whole paint motif that they've got going on that seemed to match her so uh i am curious to see what that turns out to be Mm-hmm, definitely. I'm always looking for things I can wear to school too. So I, you know, I like the comfy stuff. I like the casual stuff, but things that I can wear to teach in, I'm always, you know, on the lookout for that kind of stuff. So I like to wear the stuff right. I'm trying to sneak into a school. Yeah. <laughs> pretend I'm a student. There, there like you I'm, have it. Like that, that is kind of frowned upon. Yeah. <laughs> well, I found that out now. Mm-hmm. Jay. Mm-hmm. Could have warned me. Okay, well, you know, hmm. kind of goes without saying in this day and age, but that's all right. So moving on, um, we have covered some of the Incas footwear in the past. And if you've listened to past episodes of That So Wizard, you know I'm a big fan of the Incas shoe wear line. Hmm. Um, and I just had to spotlight the fact that they came out with a couple new styles. One of particular interest to me is the new Chewbacca Flex Force X. And these are very similar in style to um, the other shoes that I have that have the strap across the, the top instead of having the laces. So these are micro suede and they feature little Easter eggs, um, not literally Easter eggs, but you know what I mean, with secret messages hidden in each style, huh. which is really awesome. And something new that uh, they've started doing over at Incas is that they've started giving payment plans with no interest. So if you buy several items from them anything over a hundred dollars is free shipping and they they have this payment plan now which is really awesome and you know of course you guys know anything for whatever reason i'm always drawn to anything with chewbacca style huh. so i i absolutely love these and they're super comfy so i love my incas i get so many compliments on the ones that i have as a matter of fact i just wore the um i have the geoforce flex and I wore those whoa. to school just this past Friday. And the boys were the ones that were like, whoa, Mrs. Krebs, sporting the kicks. You get the props for the best kicks of the day. Wow. So <laughs> so I was feeling pretty good about myself that, uh, you know, I was in style with the, with the kids. But I love the micro suede on these. What do you guys think of these? Would you wear them? Um... They're intriguing. I think it's be it'd be something and be fun to have to wear to something like celebration. Um, mm -hmm. It's not something I could wear on a day to day basis, um, simply because the legal profession would frown on that. But uh, <laughs> uh, I'd get odd looks in the court. But uh, but I I've some had of these. That I, I know you have. Uh, but the <laughs> some of these are uh, some fun designs. The um, the Chewbacca Flex Force is is fun, but you know I'm just kind of. Uh, scrolling through the designs on Incas and you know I like the R2D2 Flex Force that's a cool one mm -hmm. um, it's uh, and then the some of the camping boots are fun designs as well uh, that they've got going on there sure mm -hmm. yeah they're pretty it was cool. funny go ahead Texas what were you going to say uh, I was just wondering did they ever make a, a line called the Conquistador the kind of Spanish Inquisition? Mm, no not yet not yet oh, okay. <laughs> But it's funny, my husband and I were sitting eating dinner the other night and he was kind of scrolling through his Facebook feed and he came across those camping boots, Dennis, and he holds them up to me. Of course, they were like sponsored ads and he holds up the ad to me and he goes, oh, you would like these. And I go, honey, those are Incas. I already have some of those. And he's like, oh, <laughs> I can't keep up with all your stuff. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's okay. I understand. So yeah, if you want to go check those out, that's at Incas.com. And they do have a really awesome selection of different kinds of shoes there. And like I said, they're super comfy and they also have their one, one shoe, one, 
tree project, which gives back as well. So which I'm still not sure on the math on that. So. Yeah, I know. I just just go with it. Just go with it. Okay. <laughs> so over at Box Lunch, there are some things uh, that were listed in their quote unquote new section. And I was actually just at our local Box Lunch recently Whoa. and picked up one of these items. So the first thing on the list is a couple of new lounge fly items. And it's the Floral Stormtrooper Wallet and Backpack. So I did pick up the wallet because I'm I'm in need of a new wallet soon. Sure. The one that I picked up from Hot Topic a few years ago is starting to slowly fall apart. Mm-hmm. So this one is royal blue and it shows off the softer side of the empire with a stormtrooper's helmet surrounded by embroidered flowers and hits a fashion target. The snap closure opens to reveal 11 card slots, an ID window, three cash slots, and a zippered compartment. So this is more of a, uh, a longer rectangle type wallet, which I always look for because I'm very old school and I still carry around my checkbook and my ledger. I'm one of those that every time I use my debit card, I'm writing it in my ledger right there, no matter yeah. where I am. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I like this particular style and I love the floral stormtrooper look anyway. Uh, a while back, Loungefly put out the floral stormtrooper tote which I own and that's that's my signature bag. I take it everywhere. So this is another one of those items that just kind of goes right along with it. So I, I'm in love with this particular item. So it's eight inches long by about four and a half inches wide. And um, and you can see from the pictures that I've shown there, it's it's very subtle, but yet it's very Star Wars. So, and I know I always get compliments on my Star Wars wallet, no matter where I go, it doesn't matter. But um, so, yeah, so I love this one. I did pick this one up and then they have a matching backpack as well for $64.90 is listed on the website. uh... So I suppose you could, but you know, you could definitely get them separate. I'm not going to pick up the backpack for myself personally, but it'd be fun to take to cons or, you know, if you have a need for backpack or if you're doing any kind of hiking or whatever. I often have a need for backpack. Well, there you go. Mm-hmm. And this would be, I don't know if this particular style would be right up your alley. It's but pretty. It is pretty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's got a black and gold brand plaque on the front and matching gold hardware. So this one is 12 and a quarter inches high, nine inches wide, and four and a half inches, uh, or I'm sorry, nine inches deep, four and a half inches wide. Huh. So um, those, those two items really kind of caught my attention and as i said i did pick up the wallet now one thing i did want to note for uh box lunch is that they actually have posu shoes Hmm. on their website now so and this is a first that i've seen this particular crossover everything i know to be true is now just completely upset (laughs) <laughs> well, I just thought it was really interesting because I've never seen Box Lunch to carry anything like like that before. Like sometimes they'll carry her universe stuff, huh. um, you know, hot, not Hot Topic stuff, but there's, you know, other crossovers that I've seen. Right. But right. this just really surprised me. So the Han Solo high tops, the Resistance high tops, the low top Porg shoes, as well as Ray's boots from The Force Awakens. Hmm. We're all spotted on the site. Mm-hmm. And I have to say, <laughs> because of doing this research, I ended up getting the boots. So oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm I'm super excited about it because I've been coveting these boots forever. So and watching they the sale. Price or, uh... They actually were. They were less than what Pozu actually lists on their web their website. Uh-huh. So the starting price was actually less, which you don't normally see because, you know, obviously when you're not buying direct from the seller, you have to sometimes pass that cost along to the consumer. Right. But it, these were cheaper. And if you've ever shopped at Box Lunch, you earn what's called lunchbox money. So for every so many dollars that you spend online or in the store, you get these little coupons that have codes on them. So because I had gone to Box Lunch about a month ago uh, in the store, I had um, like four coupons worth of Box Lunch money. Oh, cool. So right. I was super excited. There you go. And um, so those are in the mail. <laughs> Score for me. So I'll be uh, I'll be definitely following up with that one. So yeah, thanks. I'm super excited about that. So yeah, lots of stuff over at Box Lunch. 
Um, next thing we have is from Urban Outfitters. So I, I picked out a couple, you know, guys, things that are more cold weather. And this first one I was really intrigued with. This is a long sleeve t-shirt in the Speed Racer anime style. Huh. And yeah. it's just, it's a lot of fun. It's $38. Cool. It has, it's white um, on the front. It has the uh, X-Wing pilot in the Speed Racer style. And everything is in Japanese. So we're looking at a heavyweight cotton that's cut in a standard fit. So it's like a unisex fit featuring a sketched cartoon graphic at the front, text graphics on both sleeves, and then the Empire Strikes Back graphic at the back. So the Empire Strikes Back graphic is from the poster, I'm assuming, maybe from the, the Japanese poster, because there's the, you know, the English Empire Strikes Back, but yeah, then there's cool. also the Japanese writing. And um, it has a finished rib knit banding at the crew neck and cuff. So it's it's nice because it keeps it from rolling and they keep their shape better, yeah. especially at the cuff. Yeah, so I've been like really the digging the style a lot lately, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and anime so big. Now that um that picture in the front, Dennis, do you remember the um the tops cards, the manga? Yeah, so was that is that one of the images from there? Or did they? Do you think they made that specifically for this or? Oh wow! Um, it's, it looks familiar. I don't remember that specific in, uh, image from the manga set. I mean, that was also a couple years ago when I last saw that. But uh, um, it's it, it definitely looks familiar. But I can't say that it was one of those specific cards. Oh, um, interesting. <laughs> that would be a really cool tie-in, though, if it was actually one of those top yeah, cards. But I love the so. poster in the back. That looks really awesome. You know what? I'm kind of a uh, kind of lusting after this. Really awesome. Hard. Yeah. Well, you you should you should get it, and then you should know. tell us all about it. Bucks. Mm. <laughs> but you know, it does it's have on sale. Star Wars on it. Exactly. But will people so that's be it. confused because they can't read it? I think they'll be okay. This is all the rage right now. No, I'm no, telling you. This you know, Japan. all the manga, all the Japanese. Mm. It's like the big big in fashion thing so if you decide to get it you can always go to urbanoutfitters.com and of course these links will be in our show notes so yeah scoundrels if you pick up any of this stuff you gotta let us know send us an email uh tweet us you know whatever you need to do let us know snap a picture of yourself with the stuff we would love to see it so next it. Yeah, <laughs> keep it all to yourself. So next we have some more cold winter things. So I found a company called Neff, N-E-F-F. -E huh. And this is a company that started actually as a, a snow and skate headwear company. They're running out so of this names, was started by Yeah, <laughs> this is started by two guys out in California. Uh -huh. And um, they've actually expanded to include apparel and accessories of what they call active fashion. So... So I was browsing around their website and I found they have a, a little Star Wars collection of a few different items. And the one that I like the best is the 12 Parsecs hoodie. And yeah. this one is black mm -hmm. and it's on sale right now for $55.99 on sale from $70. But it's black and then it's got almost like a Tron feel to it in some ways. It's yeah. got sort of these... Yeah, it doesn't. It's like pink and uh, yellow um, like lines to computer it. computer stuff, yeah. Exactly. So going down the one sleeve, and then it has the Millennium Falcon uh, on the back, and then it says Castle Run 12 Parsecs, and it's got all these little things. And then on the front, it's got a little um, kind of like a, a badge, almost like the you know name tag, my name is. Yeah. Uh, and it says YT1300. Uh, on it across cool. where the heart would be so yeah that's it's really cool and it's it's a nice heavyweight type sweatshirt because it's made for the slopes so it seems to be a really heavy duty kind of sweatshirt and it's it's really cool so um very stylish it reminds me of kind of a late 80s early 90s ad uh with the way that you know, on the back you know it's speed power reliability i could almost hear a voice overlay for a commercial for this oh, yeah. with the way that it's done and 
the uh, YT 1300 kind of reminds me of the GM label a little bit. That's the way they've got that, you know. <laughs> yeah. And that sub, uh, oh, yeah. And that sub slogan, Kessel Run, 12 parsecs, the Millennium Falcon, uh, you know, coming from Corellian Light Engineering or whatever the case may be. But it's a, uh, it's a neat, it's a neat design. I, I do like the um, style of the, of the way they wrote Millennium. It almost looks like it's a chrome plate. Uh, yeah. There, yeah. In that yellow. Yeah. The yellow print. Good, Good catch. Yeah, almost like a like a vintage car kind of thing. It gives you almost that feeling too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good call. I like your little, um, you know, commercial voice that you had going on there. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> so yeah, you can check that out, and that is at nephedwear.com. And again, links will be in the show notes, so you can check that one out. And then I found a new company also um, as I was kind of browsing around, and this one doesn't have anything to do with cold weather gear or anything like that, but I was just really impressed by this company. It's a UK company, and it's ASOS is the name of the company. So Asos, I guess. Asos, I don't know. I don't even want to touch that one. So, <laughs> well, who does? <laughs> but it's the, uh, <laughs> the, the company's uh, philanthropy, I guess you could say, is that they strive to bring body positivity and self-expression to fashion. That is so irresistibly Through providing hot. over 30 sizes and all the brands that they sell all at the same price. And they do have a lot of... Uh, really cool different types of of items that on their website and the one that really caught my eye is is called the star wars scuba printed mini dress and it's only 39.50 which i didn't think was out of the sky expensive Hmm. um but it's again it's one of those things that you have to kind of do a double take with to say is is that did, did i just see star wars is that what that is so it's um i love their description in here it says x-wing fighter print that's the famous rebel starfighter from the films if you know <laughs> you know <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> i love that so it's i would call it a sheath dress basically so it's an all one piece dress um has a rounded neck cap sleeves the back slim fit so it's a narrow cut that sits close to the body and they call it a mini dress length so it's uh, between 33 and 39 inches in length. And the way that you measure that is from the center back. So if you look at the back of the dress where the center of the neck is, you would measure there to the hem. And that's how you figure the, the length. But this is really cool. It's, um, it's got a black background and it's got all of these geometric kind of gold and cream colored designs. And then you can yeah. see the X-Wing design within that so yeah. i was i was really enamored with this one i might just have to pick this one up i can see partnering this with a blazer or a cardigan um some you know full-length tights and some ballet slippers and i'd be all set huh uh yeah it's a pretty uh, intricate uh you know, fantasy you've worked out for yourself there jake uh it yeah, took me right? a little while to uh <laughs> figure out i was like kept looking at it going well, okay, what is... Alright, and it took me a while to see the X-Wing. Because mm-hmm. there's not really anything else in it that's... Is there or am I missing it? No, not really. There's nothing else that really screams Star Wars on this. So it's very, like I said, it's very geometric, very um, asymmetrical mm-hmm. in its design as far as the, the print itself. Right. But it's very, um, it's very intriguing, and like you said, it's got that X-wing on the hip more so than anywhere else. So that's, yeah, that's the one distinguishing feature that really sets it apart as as a Star Wars piece, which again is something that I always appreciate because I like that subtlety. Yeah. Where, as they said, if you know, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I absolutely love. I just think that's so cool. So again, that is um, their website is us.asos.com. So this is actually a UK company. Type carefully. And um, yes, type very carefully. And um, and you'll find it there. And they've got a few different pieces. Uh, they also have this thing they call a hanky dress. That's um, an asymmetrical cut. And that's a more of a stormtrooper style kind of thing, which is... Um, really awesome too so i mean i have to check this this website out just a little bit more but um we'll see what kind of shipping they have as well to the u.s so that remains to be seen (laughs) all 
right, so next we've got a couple of lifestyle products here and I headed over to Pottery Barn Teen. Oh. And I don't know if you guys, we've, we've talked about Pottery Barn before and I don't know if you guys have own anything from Pottery Barn Star Wars. Do you at all? Actually, um, my one of my son's rooms was decorated years ago with a mm-hmm. lot of the uh, Pottery Barn Star Wars uh, kid stuff. And he actually still has a gigantic lightsaber sitting up propped up in his room uh nice. from them it's not in this current collection but we have uh purchased some of their products in the past mm-hmm. well i'm telling you what this they have been stepping up their game big time over at pottery barn and i don't care if it if it says teen i want some of this stuff yeah. they have the where you can shop the entire collection or you can shop specific rooms and so they have these media they call them media chairs they're like gaming chairs that are stormtrooper yeah these things are exquisite and you got to check these out on the site and right now they're they're selling for uh 337 dollars a piece which is kind of pricey but pottery barn is one of those things you definitely get what you pay for and they have really really good quality stuff so this is something that you would definitely be able to keep for years and years to come and these media chairs just in and of of themselves um you they've got all kinds of different different built-in audio system comes with a 4.1 wireless bluetooth audio it has four speakers in it a control panel an adapter so i mean these things are (laughs) they are high tech which is awesome yeah but um some of the other things that i thought were really too is they have this the Death Star beanbag chair and I just I love me some beanbag chairs I'm such a, a sucker for beanbag chairs yeah. <laughs> and the pillows the throw pillows they have one that says sometimes I amaze even myself I would love that as a throw yeah. pillow on my couch I just as a reminder have a beanbag binder. chairs as a kid no why not were, did you eat the beans out of them no they were against our religion Oh, okay. I, I'm, I won't even ask. But <laughs> they also have things like metal concept art of the Death Star that you can put on the walls. Um, I mean, you name it. Of course, Pottery Barn is known for their bedding and, and whatnot, too. But um, they have pendant lights. They have a, a TIE Fighter pendant light. They have a Stormtrooper pendant light that you can uh, hang such a cool look. Yeah. Um, Scoundrels, you got to check this one out. So if you're looking for some new decor... That's definitely, I would highly suggest um, a place to go, and that's pbteen.com. They never have what I'm so, looking for, um, couple th- I'm actually looking for a barn for pottery. What, what, a barn for pottery? Yeah, oh, okay. They don't have it ever. Hmm. You, you could probably Google that, though. You'd be surprised at what you might find. It's in the shape of farm animal. Well, there you go. Yeah. yeah okay. All right. You have to, you have, you have to post some pictures of that sometime. All right. Maybe not. Uh, Hot Topic has a really fun blanket throw, and these are the kind that um, oh remind me of those those type of blanket throws that have the sleeves in them. So this thing basically looks like a snuggie, and it's it's a blanket with sleeves. Is essentially what it is. So if right. you know what a snuggie is, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. So the description just says made of soft fleece with loose fitting sleeves. This comfy throw lets shoulders, arms, and upper body remain protected from the cold while leaving hands free to use electronic devices, read a book, eat a snack, enjoy an outdoor sports event, and much more. Right. So I would I would totally get this. I'm I'm all about this. And if you're gonna wrap up in a snuggie, why not look like Ray? <laughs> yeah, really huge Ray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe you guys would prefer the Kylo Ren or you know. Well, you know. <laughs> I would just prefer to wear my favorite Star Wars sweatshirt and a Star Wars blanket. Um, but, uh, you know, some people really enjoy the Snuggies. And, yeah, like you said, if you're going to use one, you might as well go Star Wars. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the next one from Hot Topic, too, is um, I'm so into these kind of gloves. And Hot Topic calls them glomets. So yeah. they're kind of like gloves, and they're also like mittens. And, again, it's Chewbacca. Right? Right? So this is one of those that they look like the gloves with the fingers cut out of them, but then it has a little flap that you can flip over to put over your fingertips to make Mm. them like a mitten. And I, the only thing I don't like about these is that normally on these kind of uh, glomets, they have the thumb completely intact. So there's no way to cover your thumb on this one. So the tip of your thumb is completely sticking out. But these are, again, Chewbacca. 
again, I'm all about Chewbacca. So these are just super cute. And I love these for things like running mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it I can kind of control the amount of coldness, I guess right. you could say, that my fingertips are getting. Right. So sometimes I'll start out with a little flap over my fingertips and then I'll flip it back or, you know, using mm -hmm. phones and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So some, some gloves now they have the special fingertips where you can actually use on electronic devices right. um but this just kind of keeps your hands free and for driving and stuff well, like that too fun, so. fun scientific fact the tip of your thumb actually has no feeling i'm so not sure that's it's correct. okay to leave it exposed plus it's probably for your phone right oh it totally has feeling because i've i've cut it before and it hurt yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you must be a mutant um i must be yeah, i don't but know don't you think that is for your phone though leaving them exposed like that Possibly. Even yeah. with the rest of your fingers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, guess I just think it's just more accessible. Yeah, I just, I like, I, I actually have a couple pairs of these and I just, I absolutely love them. So that's on Hot Topic once cool. again. And these are pretty cheap. They're only $8.90. Mm -hmm. So that's I thought bad. that was pretty good. Yeah. Um, that's and why then. The thumb is exposed. They could. That's why yeah, they couldn't afford it. <laughs> so a couple more things here that we have. Um, again, this is cold weather stuff. The I don't know if you get, if you guys know what a balaclava is down uh, there in yeah. Texas. Yeah. yeah. My biker so, days. That's right. Oh, there you go. So this one I found on Amazon. It's not really a true balaclava because it doesn't have the hood to it. But it's um, more of like, a, they call it a tube face mask. And it's advertised as a 13-in-1 bandana, balaclava, nerkerchief, scarf. You name it. Hmm. Um, they have a couple different styles. So one is in the style of Darth Maul. So you pull it up just underneath your eyes. And so it covers your nose and your cheeks and your mouth and everything. So you look like Darth Maul. Sure. And the other one is um, the Kylo Ren style. So you can you can choose your, choose your styling there. But they're ultra thin, 100% lightweight polyester microfiber that keeps the heat in and the wind out. And it also says that it works great as a dusk mask. Yeah. Also and they're one your size. Life of cr crime. That's yeah. There you go. That too. And they're one size fits all. Seamless will fit most adults and children. Nice. So, um, so yeah, those are pretty cool. I I was really all about that. And again, for me, it's mainly for running out in the cold because I it's hard to breathe sometimes with that super super cold air. But um, mm -hmm. you can check that out on Amazon pretty cool and then uh last but not least are these techna moon boots Ooh. from a website called the climb it's c-l-y-m-b so for anyone who is into the snowboarding the skiing that kind of thing these are brand new i mean these just came out just started to to become available january 22nd ah. so um yeah so these are brand spanking new but they they have a stormtrooper and they have an R2-D2 style. So these, I'm just gonna read the description. It says, Moon Boot teams up with Star Wars, the fantasy world created by Lucasfilm. Mm. This version Perfect. of the classic Moon Boot is styled with the black and white lines of Stormtrooper body armor or R2 style and lines. Mm. The insulated upper will keep you warm and looking good. Après ski or après rebellion. Mm. So après means you after. you go get some soon. <laughs> hey, there you go. Yes, opera just means after in French, just oh. so you know. So mm -hmm. some of the specs on these, they have a nylon synthetic upper, a lace-up closure, polyester lining, EVA midsole. And um, if anyone's ever kept up with some of my other fashion reviews, EVA is ethylene vinyl acetate, which yeah. is a certain type of material that gives softness and flexibility to the soles of shoes and boots. Very popular for athletic shoes. Um, tennis shoes that type of thing so it's rubber and um yeah basically okay. and the sizing is all based off of u.s men's sizes so these are at an introductory price right now of 79.98 and will normally sell at 175 dollars so i would say yeah i definitely want to get on these if you're into like i said the skiing or the um snowboarding and just basically being out in the cold and again that is from the climb.com are they made so. out of moon material no but that would be really cool did you guys check the super blood mo wolf moon the other night that was out last weekend <laughs> i did i did i braved the cold and the wind to go outside and do it but that was pretty cool it was it was my my son and i were standing outside and he goes look mom it's mustafar 
Oh, nice. A full little reference there, but yeah, we were we were freezing as well. It was like literally minus four degrees in Ohio, and we were stepping inside the garage and then stepping out. <laughs> so, anyways, has nothing to do with fashion, but yeah, sure. <laughs> we were talking about the moon. So, last but not least, the Wizard Award. All right. Dun, da, da, da. So the Wizard Award is simply an honorific that I choose to give out to a product, a person, a website, just to give them a little special recognition for something that I appreciate. And this month, it's going to Loungefly. So in particular, this wallet that I just got, but Loungefly just continues to knock it out of the park with all of their products that they've uh, put out over the years. And I just always appreciate their quality. Their uh, customer service has always been amazing. Their shipping has always been really fast. I've never been upset with any Loungefly product that I've ever purchased. So I'm really excited to see what they're going to bring to celebration. And I'm really happy that I purchased this wallet and I can't wait to start using it. So Loungefly, you get the Wizard Award for this month. So Ooh. there you have it, folks. Right. Yeah. So hopefully, scoundrels, you were able to find some fun things, whether it be for cold weather or just in general. And so if you, uh, like we said, if you get any of these things, snap a picture, let us know, send us an email, uh, sqpod at retrozap.com. And um, Dennis, do you want to tell them a little bit more about where they can find us? Well, thank you, Jay, for wrapping up uh, this week's uh, edition of That's a Wizard, uh, giving us all the wintertime lifestyle product and fashion advice. Uh, you can find us on social media. We are at SQPod on Twitter and Instagram and on Facebook at Facebook.com slash SQPod. You can email the show, as Jay was just saying, at SQPod at RetroZap.com. You can follow Darth Taxis on Twitter at Darth Taxis. Jay is at Joyce Krebs, and I am at DJKVER2. We are part of the RetroZap.com podcast network. The network currently features more than a dozen shows covering everything from retro gaming and movies to the Animaniacs, collecting Dune, Game of Thrones, and of course, a whole lot of Star Wars. You can subscribe to the network feed, and you'll get all these shows in one place. What a bargain. That's going to do it for this Scoundrel Special Edition. And thanks, Jay, again for this edition of That's a Wizard. Well, I'll talk to you all soon with another edition of Starship Sabers and Scoundrels. And until then, may the Force be with you. Ladies and gentlemen, my sister, Candace Flynn. And in the end, the most important thing is that we never forget the end of a shoelace is called the...